Welcome everyone to another Let's Play World of Warcraft. Right now we are in the Southern Barrens and we are on our way to Hunter's Hill to help the Horde against the Alliance. And here's also an NPC by the name Holgom that needs our help. From these hidden paths, we can rain terror down on our enemies below. There's not much honor in hit and run strikes, but a good warrior knows to keep his foe off balance. Warrior's Redemption. Those that surrendered when honor stand uh, fell are no longer worthy of our horde warlock, but I'm not giving up on them yet. Holy shit, he's so strict with his people. Uh, the prison tower below us is lightly guarded. Let's give those prisoners one final chance to die with honor. I've set up ropes that will allow you to quickly uh, clamber up and down the mountain, slip down, acquire confiscated weapons and rearm the prisoners inside the tower. Wow, that sounds like a fun mission. And Corgro, stay be, uh, by the tower. We are not yet equipped for an assault on the base proper. Okay, so basically we don't get too close. Feeding the fear. Our resources are limited, Warlock. But that doesn't mean we can't make some trouble down below. Use the ropes here to sneak down the hillside. Then slay the human prison uh, wardens. Killing a couple scrawny guards won't turn the tide of battle. But imagine the fear and chaos we'll reap as the humans discover the mutilated bodies. <laughs> oh, he's very sadistic. Uh, Holgom grins a yellowed grin. His eyes glinting. A yellowed grin? So he doesn't take care of his teeth or what? <laughs> Kill five uh, tower wardens. Use the ropes beside Holgom to quickly move in and out of honor's stand. Yeah, let's do this. That's gonna be fun. Ah! Okay, no fall damage. Nice. So, those are the weapons. There are some guards. Oh no. The peasant. Wait, do you... Do we also have to kill them? I don't think we do. Okay. There are more. That's a cool mission. Ah! My demon is almost dead. Oh, we need some new half stones. It's the only way we can heal ourselves. And we have now some drained life we could use. Now let's use our new skill. Ooh, that hits hard. Two more. Ah, leather. Like I saw a green item. I thought we can upgrade our boots finally. Because our boots are the, the weakest uh, item, like the, the weakest we are wearing right now, just level 4. Like we need better boots, I hope soon our quest can reward us those. I love about warlock combat, especially demonology, it feels quite impactful, right? Like the visuals are so great, like the animations. But they are not smart, the Alliance here, because why are they keeping the weapons out in the open like that when they are prisoners? Like, it, it's way too easy to actually get the weapons. Like, they should put them inside some sort of stor storage room or something, right? Like, it should be inside the building, not out in the open like that. That's not smart. I will fully heal this up if I can. Now have stone. Oh, good. Okay, so here are the prisoners. Here. Yeah. Okay, now. So many imps. Here, yeah, I uh, my commander was butchered before my eyes. My brother's dead all around me. I could not fight on. I'm so ashamed, warlock. I did not avenge them. Strength. Loktar, go forth to victory. They all say the same, right? What do you need? 
Do not look at me, Ock. I've disgraced the horde. I'm done. For the horde. Speak, friend. No Ock should ever flee from battle as I did. Leave me to my disgrace. With that, I would die in this tower, but I dread learning that my ancestors think of my cowardice. May your blades never dull. Draw all. Strength. Oh, shit. We're missing one weapon. Let's see if we find a box somewhere here. Okay, there's one. We have to kill this one first. Wow, we almost level up. I feel like each episode we get at least two levels or so, right? But that's good. We are progressing. Four more levels and we can have a faster mount. Ah, what kind of range does this dude have? Okay, I will go with this one. May your blades never dull. Uh, oh, there's one on top. Wait, he has a, he has a quest. One, one second, what's up with this guy? Is he like a Farsi or something, a shaman? Eye for an eye. Who goes there? Your footsteps are not uh, the lazy stride of a guard. A warlock, you say, still brave and free. There's no hope for me, friend. I've lost my eyesight and am no longer fit for battle. I dared speak up while Captain Peaky savagely beat one of the prisoners. In return, he kicked me in the head and kept kicking. He kicked me blind orc. Is that even possible? Holy shit, that sounds, that sounds really cruel. You'll find Captain Peaky at the top of this tower. If you seek justice, bring me his eyes. If he does not part with them willingly, so be it. Be safe. Wow. Yeah, so interesting quests on the hot side. Like, I often feel like the Alliance quests are more civilized. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm getting those kind of impressions. Oh, there's this captain. Uh, oh, here. No, that's tower water, but here he is. Okay. Yeah, he's almost down. Where are you going? I need your eyes. Captain Peaky's eyeballs. <laughs> How disgusting. Our oh, inventory is getting a bit full. Okay, let's bring the eyes. It's weird. We are a warlock, but I feel like we look more like a freaking mage with those robes, right? Speak, friend. Peaky is a monster. If his superiors knew, they would thank the Horde for ending him. Yeah, that's not alliance standards. I, I always thought they have some sort of moral. You have them, I take your word for it. Hearing Peaky scream like one of his victims is reward enough for me. Now, wait, I keep them? I don't want to keep them. Now leave me be, Kogro. I do not wish to be a burden to my clan. Go forth. Hey, many, maybe we could do like some demonic ritual with those eyes. Eye of Kir... <laughs> what coincidence. We unlocked Eye of Kirok after doing this freaking quest. But Eye of Kirok is such a useless skill. You don't have, yeah, like, the thing is about demonology, like, you don't get skills very often, right? Like, look at the, the jumps here, 27, 28, and then we have to wait till uh, 42 to get, like, a new skill. And Eye of Kirok is so freaking uh, useless. Like, look what you're literally doing. Yeah, an eye here, and what's this eye doing? It can be used to spy. And if you get close to an enemy, oh, it doesn't attack me. Okay, maybe this can have some uses in PvP, but I'm not sure if other players can see it. <laughs> like, you can spy on them, but still, it's like, I don't know. How do I cancel this? Oh, here, right? Okay. Alright, uh, let's return back to the cliff. Holy shit. Now we need to fight our way back.
Seems like, yeah, we have no choice but to fight. Wow, we're doing so much damage, right? Okay, maybe this works. I fear him and then we go to the rope quickly. Yep, it worked. We didn't need to fight. Holy shit, I'm super athletic. Even the imps, the way they jump. That's crazy. Alright, let's turn the quest in and then we're going to their camp. What do you need? Warrior's Redemption. From up here, I got the perfect view of the havoc you just caused, Kogro. Our lost brothers reclaimed some of their dignity. And the Alliance dogs were sent scrambling. Sharp work, my friend. If the Alliance uh, sleeps comfortable at night, we are not doing our job. We will never let up. We will never give in. Ooh, a ring. Nice. Wait, we have done already 100 quests. Okay, I mean, it has been hours since we were playing, so. Good, good. It'll take uh, them many sleepless nights to figure out where we came from and where we disappeared to after the kills. That's assassin mode right there. And... Uh, oh, we got our first ring and our item level went up a bit. That's perfect. We are close to the camp and... I'm really in love with like the, the Tauren lore and like the zones of them, the atmosphere. <coughs> Like, there's something so nostalgic about the Barons. Because back in the day when I first played WoW, I was here a lot. I, I played uh, a lot on the Orc Shaman, and at some point I also had a warrior and stuff. It was really fun. Onate. Onate, hey. I think. Hold out at Hunter Seal. So the Alliance is probing the twists and turns of the high road. Even if they were to map it out, they couldn't attack these hills in numbers. This is our land, Corgrol, and they would pay dearly for presuming otherwise. Goodbye. We are besieged here, Warlock, and the uh, what? Yeah, we are besieged here, Warlock, and between that chasm and the harassment of the Alliance, we are short on supplies. But we make do with what's at hand. As we torrent always have. In the absence of a forge, a skilled leather worker can strengthen the patch up our damaged armor with good quality heights. Down below is the hunting ground of the Tarot Tooth Raptors. They are not so easy to kill, in part due to the ruggedness of their thick skin. Hunt them, Corgrol, and bring their heights to me. Signals in the sky. Turn your eyes to the southeast. Do you see the campfire smoke from Camp Unafi? Not 10 minutes ago, I saw great puffs of white smoke roll up in the sky from the center of camp. It was an old signal used by my village to coordinate the hunt over great distances. But this time it was a distress signal. Kogro, my brother Makaba had gone into that unnatural jungle. Please go there and make sure he's not in any trouble. There are few paths. Look for tents within the wilderness. May the eternal sun shine. And honor, Gore hammer. Blood and thunder. Hey, she has a hammer. Wait a second. Kill Rock and Kill Rock. That's almost the same name. Kill Rock, how did we lose understand? It was a clever ruse, Kogor. Alliance forces streamed out of northwards and marched up the gold road. Besieged crossroads as dusk fell. Then in the heart of the night, they forced much southward, leaving their campfires burning behind. Our meager forces at honor stand were caught unawares as the alliance poured through the pass at dawn's first light. Many of our bravest warriors fell before their blades. This was before the cataclysm? Yes, we regrouped east to the pass and prepared a counterattack. But the next day the skies rent and the land was cleaved in two as easily as a child might split open a cactus apple. Wait, what? See how the devastation stretches from horizon to horizon? Our alliance force in the makeshift bunkers were as surprised and disorganized as we were by the disaster. It would have been the perfect time to strike, but Warlord Gardrul insisted we pull back to the south to refortify. And that makes sense, because you don't know if it splits any further. You could lose a lot of troops. Kilrock spits on the ground. 
Uh, not all of us followed. I stood toe to toe with demons in the last war called Grohl. I'm not about to turn tail and let the alliance plant roots on my soil. You and your men stayed behind to fight. To fight, yes, to die, likely, but we will give them no ground warlock. Your ox are so honorable, right? We are outnumbered. Our armor is patchwork. Our weapons scavenged. But this is our land. Our torn allies know every hidden trail, crevice and pass through these hills. We descend from the high ground where they least expect us, then disappear into the terrain like phantoms. Fierce our weapon and we will strike at them unceasingly. With honor. I mean, they do have the advantage of, the, of like the, the area and stuff, right? Because the Torn are native to here, so they know everything. And the Alliance, they're still new here. Put the fear in them. Do you see the trail below us, Korgrol? That is my trail. And if the Alliance dogs choose to use my trail, they'd be best looking over their shoulder it's time to collect my toll slay the foot soldiers from understand and see if we can send them scurrying back to their walls be sure to take out at least one of their officers patrolling the road they need to realize that nobody is safe holy shit kill eight understands uh, footmen and one understand officer for the horde what do you need we have nobody that can repair stuff oh yeah here we have I mean, it's not like we really need repair. Let's do it anyway and, and sell off uh, some of the stuff. Wait, what else do we have that we do not need? Shit. I need everything. Because if I get into crafting and stuff. What are we actually going for? Let me think. Um, alchemy and herbalism or something, I think. Because we are warlock after all. It wouldn't make sense if we go for alchemy and... And yeah, herbalism. Maybe I will buy some huge bags from my main and send it over. Let's see. Okay, here are some of them. Let's take them on. And here are the raptors. So everything is here. <laughs> going to die anyway I'd be crazy surprised if this guy he survived what the heck okay now he's dead what's this uh, let's use those doggies whoa Okay, only six more. Se okay, that's actually uh, worth a bit. Not again. It's so annoying with the pet. It, it doesn't have any self healing. Like on Hunter, you have Ment Pet. You, you don't have Ment Pet. You can only do this. And it's a it's something channeled, so you can do it on the go. is this the black knight wait hold up how does that look like should i send it to another character because it binds when equipped do i have any character that could use that let me think now a few robber i have one but uh, but this one uses two-handed i don't think i have anyone that uses that since our shadowy boat I, I i just want to get the freaking uh, look you are kidding me right is is you are fucking kidding me that's how this one looks like. Are you like look at this? It looks like actually really cool right here on the icon, right? The sim it's actually a very simple looking uh, grayish sword. Wait a second. On a warlock, I can actually use also swords, I believe. But we have nothing offhand yet, right? 
A want is not offend. Ah, shit. Yeah, we have to wait till we get something offend because we can also use swords on the warlock. I just realized. It looks too simple, the sword. I thought it was like glowing or something. Or oh, looked rougher. Boom, big explosion. Freaking exploded on us. Just demon bolt. I feel like using demon bolt is so not worth it unless you have a proc. Yeah, we are going to lose our pet. We have to probably resummon him. Or maybe not. Okay, he was lucky. Only one more. Oh, I remember back in the day when I had a hunter. I actually had at some point a raptor pet. Like back in the day, hunters were actually in, in vanilla days. They were like really strange because you had to like teach them actual skills and stuff like you had to train your pets now you just tame a pet on a hunter and it has everything from the start it has gotten so much easier right now we have to kill the alliance if there are any okay here are some start them both up Easy peasy. Survey assistant. Henry Sykes. I think he's from maybe a quest. We'll, we'll, we'll let this guy be because I don't know the respawn timer. And maybe the next quest is we have to go for that guy or something. At least it appears like it is the case. Three more. What's this? Guardian armor. Oh no. A cheetah. Okay, let's go closer to the. Oh, that's the officer. Finally. Go closer to the tower and stuff. I'm pretty sure there are more. Oh crap. Roadway plans. This begins our quest. This bundle of papers was found in a leather satchel hidden under the officer's clothes. Battle maps of the region depict Anna stand connected to what appears to be a large unfinished roadway crossing the barrens um, all the way from Theramore. It looks like the Alliance plans to build a road from the coast straight into the heart of Kalimdor. Kilrog Gorehammer will want to see this. Okay, let's deliver it to him. Where is all the Alliance? Uh, we still need to kill three of them. That's another officer. I don't need an officer. I need the regular guards. Where are they? Okay, apparently they're also here. Let's see if we can get over this little hill here. So we don't have to... Oh, there they are. Let's go with this one first.
Oh, that's an officer. I don't want the officer. Let's go with those two. Next one. Wow. Now we showed the alliance what the hot is made of. You will no longer underestimate us. Never again. For the horde. I wonder if they will ever rework of like some of the older zones. Like I somehow don't want this to happen because they are so nostalgic. But if you look at like the older zones, like the barren stuff is crazy pixelated. I mean, just look at the freaking trees here. If you look at the trees in the Shadowlands and like other regions, they're very high uh, textures and stuff. And here, like everything still looks pixelated, like super pixelated, right? It's kind of like you're playing retail, but you still get like classic vibes in some areas. Like, yeah, everything's like freaking squarish, even. <laughs> it actually freaked me out so much about the torrent. I have to, like, uh, I'll talk about, like, my, my good old days where I was playing, like, Warcraft 3, where I was, like, really young. Like, torrent, they are, like, crazy huge in Warcraft 3, right? And in. In like World of Warcraft, they're almost as tall as orcs. They're usually like twice the size of an Peace orc. Friend. But because of game design reasons, like they couldn't, of course, make them like taller, right? Like they would probably be like this one would probably be somewhere where like his nameplate is somewhere here, right? From height, maybe even taller. If you are law friendly. Greetings, traveler. Terratooth raptors hunt in packs, uh, surround their prey. We hunt them, yes, but we also respect them. Wait. Respect your enemy, basically. What? Well. Uh, Onate looks over the fresh heights, nodding her head slowly. Yes, Kogro, I can work with these. You work fast. These heights will help us hold out of for reinforcements longer. Thank you. So yeah, if they re respect like the raptors that they are hunting, do they respect the alliance too? And <laughs> I'm like wondering how they feel about their enemies. And usually, Torn are also quite honorable and they are quite peaceful, right? Lothar. I, I often feel like the Torrent, they, the only reason why they actually are like hostile against the Alliance and like anyone is, is for their survival. I don't feel like the, the Torrent are this kind of people that want to like conquer land. Like Orcs are more like conquerors, right? They would want to conquer lands. Like we've seen this with Warlords of Draenor especially. But Torrent, I think they just fight for survival purely. Like they don't care if they own big landscapes and have a big country. They just want to survive. Excellent core growth. It will be some time before we uh, sort the hold proper, but until then we must teach them to fear the barons. Strength. Kirok pages through the plans you discover. This explains much core growth. No wonder our foes are so hellbent on taking the southern barons. It's at the center of their plans for the continent. But why didn't they account for us? Did they warlock? Stalling the survey. These maps have all been drawn by the same steady hand. I've seen a human survey heading up and down the road between the Hold and the jungle to the east. We can set their plans back by making an example out of this survey. Core Kirok points to the signature at the bottom of the maps. What do you think that says? Zykes. Even human names sound thin and weak. Kill him. <laughs> Zykes. Dabu. What a name, right? Right, let's get let's get an our freaking boar. I haven't used this mount in a while. I actually like this one. Alright, let, let's find this Zykes guy. Yeah, this is also one of my newer mounts actually. How long do I have this now? Two weeks? I think only for two weeks or so. Three weeks. So spiky. But 
the sounds is the sounds are weird. You guys hear that? <laughs> okay, so 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 where's this guy? Zykes, where is he? Oh Sykes. There Zykes is and you know what? Wasn't this like the guy earlier we saw and I said, oh, isn't he the one that we have to like take down later maybe? I was correct. Okay, he's next. Nice mission accomplished. Signals in the sky. It means we have just one more quest here. And I don't know what's here. Maybe here some too. Desolation Hall, Southern Barrens. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one will lead to... Like, what I have noticed is... Like, a lot of quests, especially in, like, uh, old school WoW. They have, like, a chain quite often. Where you quest and then there's like NPC that's like at the border of another zone and then they, they, this leads to like another zone the questing. But we, we are missing somehow a quest to get to the Stone Talon Mountains. Maybe we should do more quests in the Baron because I, I remember there's like one where you are sent to the uh, Stone Talon Mountains. Maybe we forgot like an NPC or something. So what we also could do is actually if I'm not mistaken we have a Ashenvale quest. Or we had the offer for one right? So we could also go to Ashenvale if you guys want instead of the Stone Town Mountains. Because I, I remember like Ashenvale has also some some cool quests. Plus it's a different looking area. It's not so dry. Good, good. We've got to keep understand isolated. Alone afraid. Corgrol. If we keep up the pressure, maybe someday they'll simply surrender the pass. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, that's an upgrade. Ooh, what did I say? I feel like each episode we gain at least two more levels, but... Ah, we have underwater breathing, finally. This will make stuff so much easier. Like, there's always quests where you have to freaking dive and get stuff, and... I hate always going to the surface, so now we can stay infinitely uh, underwater. But yeah, guys, that's it for today's episode. And next time we are going to the overgrowth and see what's going on there. Do a couple of maybe areas there. And I'm thinking about going to like maybe Ashenvale next. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.